Afade Guam, I'm Jason Silas. This is your sports report, and the champagne of MMA events is happening. Brawl 3 is coming to the Dusatani. That happens on Friday the 13th of all days. Normally a very fortuitous day for guys named Jason, but we have the man, the myth, the legend right here himself, Melker Matabusin. All right, man, the brain trust. Uh, one, one of many behind Brawl, but, um, you know, Mel, good to see you as always, thank my friend. You. This is your baby, right? You yes. wanted to make a very specific type of experience yes. for not only the MMA um, community and the aficionado here on Guam, but for the sports community as ge in general. And that's the way sports used to be on Guam. You know, football players would support the baseball guys. Right. Paddlers would come see, like, volleyball players. And now, I mean, it's all about, you know, six, seven, one sports. Yes. Yeah. So how'd you come up with the, with the whole concept for Brawl? Well, I fought in Russia in 2006, and I noticed that um, the, the, the VIP section was all, they had like champagne, they had Dom Parion, mm. they had Japanese bento, you know, wine glasses. So it's a classy event. It was a very, very classy event in a very rugged area. <laughs> so it was a very, one of the very first times where the mafia and the mayor of Kabados, Russia, which is Siberia, mm. got together and did this show. So. I kind of took that idea there and I wanted to bring it to Guam and that's why I started Submit and then now there's Bra. So Submit's a, uh, the, the fine wine of grappling and Bra's a champion of MMA. So I wanted to give a little bit twist where people get to dress up and you feel a little bit more ease. You know, people are sipping on champagne and whiskey versus your regular beer and no shorts and t-shirt. Everyone's dressed up. so. Mm -hmm. Want to give it a different vibe, and at the same time, you know, this is one. This is a Melkor Manabusin event, so the MMA action and the fighters who are competing. I mean, the, the card is jam packed. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, yes, so yeah. Th three main events too. Yeah, three title fights. So we have Alex Castro is the main event. This is his. Uh, this is his retirement fight. He's fighting uh, Ishihara from Japan mm -hmm. at 155. We have JJ Ambrose taking on Sato from Japan at 170, and we have Lee from Korea taking on Shimizu from Japan at 135. So I wanted to do a, a three-time title fight this this year. So next year we can have defenses. Mm -hmm. And how how difficult is it to you know, logistically to put a an event like this on together and everything like that because you got to get the venue you got to book the fighters you got to yeah. make sure that everybody you know makes weight and put everything together but i mean we talk about you know like a classy event. you always manage to pull these off and the entertainment yeah. values through the roof. Uh, thanks well um yeah it's, it's a great show you know all our previous shows we've been we've been, we've been very lucky to sell out um but it, it's whatsapp whatsapp and emails makes things easier you know and i have a great team behind me so we're a very small team but we're solid and everyone uh does their part and you know hopefully no one gets hurt and that, that happens a lot right people mm -hmm. get hurt and people pull out and already it happened about three times already this card but that's just that's just the um that's the game of fighting man mm -hmm. you know it's but so far everything's going smooth right now and we're we got lucky because Dusatani is completely booked and this is the only date that we can pick is I love so, Friday the 13th. That's, it's, it's a really interesting twist on that. Yeah. Well, it's Roki. Roki is my partner, and that's his favorite day, and my dad's favorite day is Friday the 13th, too. So, yeah. Well, that's going to be a very lucky day for, yeah, for you we guys. Hope so. We hope so. Okay, so uh, let's talk about tickets real, real quick, because I know everybody on the other side of YouTube is saying, Jace, tell me how I can get tickets. So where can people book their seats? So Monday through Friday at Coffee Sudden to morning from 5 to 8 p.m., and we only have VIP tables and about 300 cocktails tickets left so mm -hmm. the vvip and ring sides are sold out mm -hmm. now the mma community this is an annual event you know for for, for people yes. that are into mma that have, that have trained you know that have competed that have been by your side and had your back since day one and vice versa you know you've trained a lot of these people right yeah. but for those of us that are also in the sports community or for people that say i want to attend that event because i hear such positive things describe the experience of what it's going to be like to be at brawl, you know, like when, when the fighters come out and, and, you know, their supporters get behind them and everything like that. What is that like for the first timer? Um, well, you know, just the ambiance itself, the environment, it's classy. So you're not, it's not that wild crowd. So we expect to go in there and, and, uh, you know, uh, it's more of a, an elegant vibe. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of cheering, I mean, whoever, you know, some people get a little bit rowdy after they get a couple of drinks, but, for the most part, it's a really, really nice, clean, chill, um, elegant environment. And so if you are used to the PXCs or the Furies or, or the Pride or the UFC, it's really, really wild and crazy, you know. Here are a little bit more subtle and a little bit more uh, conservative, I guess. It is a really fun time, too. Yes, I mean, is. you know, hey, put on some nice clothes, you know, yeah. go out there, have a, have a couple nice adult beverages and everything, hang with your friends and, you know, enjoy. So we are, I think right now, I think Bra is 
aside from the Russians, because there's two shows in Russia that do this, we're the only one on the Western side that is doing a, a you know, like a fine dining uh, mm. MMA show. So. Well, let's talk about that. Like, how is Guam's caliber of MMA and, you know, the way we train, the way these events are put together, and then ultimately how the fights are carried out, and, and how are we seen on the international stage? Because you, you've been down since day one. Well, I mean, you know, it's been proven. You look at Frank the Crank already. He fought in, what, he has five fight of the nights in the UFC, mm -hmm. you know? So that says a lot, right? That's just one man. You got Roki, uh he was dominating Korea and Japan in the heavyweight, you know. The people that were beating him were just people outside of Japan. And he and, won in last, year, last year's brawl, too? Uh, he won, yes. He yeah. beat, but then, he, you know, his last fight in Japan, he took on a young stud uh, from Purebit and some noise guy and, and really, really uh, dominated Roki. Mm -hmm. But um, that's, you know, Roki has like, what, 10 years on the guy, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of our, our training and our level and our skill, we're right up there with the world. It's just everything is numbers, you know? Mm -hmm. And how important is it, you know, because I mean, it would be very, very easy and justified to say, let's just keep this all like local boys and like fighters and, you know, and for the women who train, mm -hmm. right? But you want to make sure that there is international flair on the card and you want to have different fighters from different backgrounds. And different all the styles. time, all the time. We got to have some guys come in. Um, if you notice this show, we only have one guy from America that's coming and he's fighting. He's a heavyweight taking on a Korean guy. And, uh, and with with our our last three fighters our last two fighters for our title fights you got you got jj coming off of retirement you got alex going going into retirement for mma so i feel like we want to highlight these guys but if you look at the first half of the card it's a lot of uh amateurs so we got to build the next generation because you got your trevin jones your frank DeCrank, your alex castro your 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 jj ambrose everyone's already at the at the end of the the game already mm -hmm. it's just it is what it is it's, it's time and it's age right so we got to build the next generation with glorified sparring they're doing a great job over at still athletics they're they're getting the young fighters and giving them um an opportunity to like to get mat time sure. cage time ring time Reps, whatever it is yeah. right and with bra we're like kind of like the you know there's no more pxc so we're we're like the new pxc right so mm -hmm. we're trying to give them a, just a, just a level up of experience but um in in general man in, in all i think guam we have a lot of talent and it's we gotta keep them active because you, if you're not active, man, the the people that are in the states and off island they're very seasoned. You know that, right? Mm. And here in Guam, you know it's it's there's not enough. And Guamanians aren't afraid of hard work. And I mean th these yep. these young these young athletes. I mean they're standing on the shoulders of giants like yourself, like Eli Mons, mm -hmm. like Joey Calvo, the yep. guys like Roki Martinez, Frank the Crank Camacho. You mm -hmm. talked about you know the list goes on and on and on oh, about no. guys who really set the foundation. Okay, before I let you go, because I mean we could be here forever. Forever, right? this right? would be yeah. awesome, right? Yeah. Everybody wants to know, what is Melker Manabusin going to wear as far as what? Uh, people on TikTok would say, what's your fit going to be? You're going to go with like a nice three-piece suit? Man, you know, I don't know, vest, but or? I don't know yet, but I know everyone has already been shopping. I'm, I have not shopped yet, but I'll, I'll figure something out. I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go to Eli's closet and steal me some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a tux perhaps? Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. One we'll of see. the many subplots you are going to want to check out when you check out Brawl 3. So the man... The legend. Thank you Malcolm so much, Malcolm Bro, you always so a much. pleasure, man. All right. Thank you. Make sure to check out Brawl. Get your tickets and make sure to have a good time at Brawl, the champagne of MMA on Guam.